Welcome to Buckland News. I'm Shannon Hull. And I'm Liam French. Today on Buckland News we have a story about Daniel Carter and a story about a talking flower. And later we catch up with Malachi Waterhouse to present the weather. But first up we have a story about a record-breaking Prime Minister who broke a record by mating a, yes, a gigantic pavlova. Here's our on-the-spot reporter Karina with Prime Minister Henry Child. Thank you. I'm Karina and I'm here in Wellington with our Prime Minister Henry Childs. Hi Mr Childs. Thanks for joining us today. My pleasure. Thank you for having me. What made you want to make the world's biggest pavlova? Well, I've been wanting to break a world record for a while now and I thought that I may as well give it a go. And what better to do than a gigantic pavlova? Oh, who helped you make the pavlova? Uh, a few of New Zealand's finest pavlova makers and a few lucky New Zealanders. Cool. Where did you make the pavlova? We made it in, the, in one of the chef's kitchens. It was quite a hassle to find the right environment for it though. It would have been, but how did you cool it properly? Oh, that, that was a bigger hassle. We had to try and get all these fans and air conditioners in there. How did it feel when you accomplished this? Oh, it felt absolutely great. And to all these people around me, to share the moment was even more special. Is there any other world records you would hope to achieve? Well, maybe in the future I'll try and achieve one, but I'm not sure which one I want to go for. Well, it's been a pleasure talking to you, Mr Childs, and maybe someday I, I could help you on your next world record. Thanks, Henry, for joining us today. That's all for me. Now back to you with the studio. Thank you, Karina. Now we have an exclusive interview with the New Zealand great Daniel Carter, who will be talking to us about the Rugby World Cup. Over to you, Heidi. Thanks, Liam. I'm here in Auckland with All Black, Daniel Carter, who's going to give us the latest updates with his team and the Rugby World Cup. So, Dan, how do you think your team will do in this big event? Well, we're just going to try our hardest and fight till the finish. Your fans have been supporting you every step of the way. Do you think they'll still support you even though you lost to South Africa and Australia in the previous World Cups? Well, I think we have the best fans in the world and they're just going to stay with us all the way. What about your game against Tonga? Well, the first half we had a great game, but in the end we just fought harder and harder. How about your game against France? Well, everybody knows that that was our toughest pull play and, they are, and we're just going to try harder and harder to beat them. Do you think you'll be able to make it to the finals? Well, we're just going to fight till the finish and at the end just go all the way. And we're out of time. Thanks for your time, Dan. Back, this is me, Heidi Okabe, reporting live from the scene. Back to, you, back to Liam and Shannon in the studio. Thanks, Heidi. Great story. Go the All Blacks! Now we have a lady who was walking down the road and met a talking flower. We go over to Edna, who has more information about the story. Thank you, Shannon. I'm Edna Goodpoint, and joining me now is Danielle Feelings. So how have you liked New Zealand so far, Danielle? Well, it's a bit chilly, but I do love the native forest and the animals, so that's why I decided to go for a walk. Well, New Zealand is a beautiful country. So how did you meet the flower? Well, I, w went, around, I went around the corner and I heard a strange sound. I'm guessing that sound was the talking flower? Yes, you're right. It was the talking flower. What colour was the flower exactly? It was a dark blue. So was the flower nice to you? No, at first it was very rude. Okay, so what did it say to you when you saw it? It said, go away, I don't need any more people crowding my personal space. <laughs> Whoa, that must have been a shock to you. Yes, it was. So, um, oh, what kind of flower was it? It was like a spiky daisy. Amazing. So did you pick the flower? Well, at first it was very rude to me, but then we started talking and we became friends. So yes, I did t pick the talking flower. Did you end up naming the flower? Yes, I named it Holly. Hi, I'm Holly. Hello Holly, how are you today? I'm good, thank you. How did you feel about Danielle picking you? Well, I was sad at first because I was leaving all my friends behind, but Danielle is a good friend too, so I want to go back to England with her. Awesome. Thank you, Danielle, for bringing Holly in with you today. This has been Edna Good Points. Now over to Malachi Waterhouse with the weather update. How is the weather looking up, Malachi? It's looking pretty nice. Good weather all over the country. 
Everybody should be going to the beach today because it's a good day. Tonight we're going to start up in the North Island with Auckland. Now you have a sunny morning with the rain clouds coming in in the afternoon. Over in Hamilton, you lucky people, you should be happy as you have sunshine all day. Going down to Tauranga, you will have beautiful sunshine so you can head to the beach and have an ice block. Now Wellington will have showers in parts of the day so you may want to stay indoors. Going down to the South Island in Christchurch. But you're still having aftershocks, but you could take a break because you have also beautiful sunshine coming down at you. Dunedin will have chilly snow coming in, but clear up for you in the afternoon. And last but certainly not least, in the cargo with hail throughout the morning and have sun showers in the afternoon. Now for the highs and lows of the day. Auckland has a high of 24 degrees and a low of 8 degrees in the afternoon. Hamilton will be very happy with a temperature of 28 degrees throughout the whole day. It will be hot in Tauranga as we will have a high of 29 degrees. And the last of the North Island, Wellington, you will have a high of 11 degrees and drop down to 7 degrees in the evening. In the South Island, Christchurch will have a high of 22 and a low of 13 degrees. Dunedin will have a chilly low of 3 in the afternoon. And Invercargill will have a high of 8 degrees and a low of 4. That's all from me for now. Good night, New Zealand, and back to you in the studio with Liam and Shannon. Thanks, Malachi. What an awesome weather report. We have now come to the end of our Buckland News. Thank you to all our viewers who have been watching. Goodbye and good night. Ladies and gentlemen. Roll the camera. Okay. 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 Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Tonight we have featured an interview with a very peculiar looking gentleman. Scene one. Take one. Take two.